Hi friends, it's Miss Renee again. We're gonna do some more science together. Today, we're gonna to make water walk. I know that sounds silly, but watch, we're gonna do it. You need five plastic cups. They don't have to be plastic and they don't have to be clear, but I did clear so you could see the colors better. It makes it a little easier to watch what's happening. You need food coloring. I'm using red, yellow, and blue, and you need some paper towels, and that's it. My end cups and my middle cup, I have filled almost all the way with water, not quite. Then these two cups are empty. We're gonna get the water to walk from these cups into these cups. Pretty cool. I'm gonna do mine as a rainbow. You can do yours however you want. Think about what two colors together make a new color. So I'm gonna do red in this cup. You don't need too much food coloring, just a little bit. Do a couple drops. There's red. And then I'm gonna do yellow in my middle cup. Think about what do red and yellow make? That's what's gonna end up in this cup. And then in my last cup, I'm going to do blue. Think about what yellow and blue make. That's what's gonna end up in this cup. Um, so now I have my colored water. You can stir it or swish it, but it'll settle down. I'm gonna take my paper towels one at a time. I'm gonna fold it in half, and then I'm gonna keep folding it until I just have a strip like this. I'm gonna put one end in my red water and one end into my empty cup. Then I'm gonna take another paper towel, fold it in half, and then fold it, fold it, till it's a thin strip, and then go from yellow to the empty cup. Do you think we're gonna be able to get the water to walk into that empty cup? Another paper towel in half, fold it, fold it. Now we're gonna go yellow cup to the other empty cup. One more paper towel. Fold it in half, fold it, fold it, and then we're gonna go from blue into empty. And then you're all set. It takes a little while for the water to walk. So you can leave it and come back. Um, but if you look, it's starting to come up through the paper towel, but it takes time. You have to be a little patient. Now over here, I did this set last night before I went to bed. I had red, yellow, and blue. And now you can see the water went up the paper towel and into the empty cup and made orange. And these two went up the paper towels into this cup and made green. And look, they're all about the same level now. Pretty cool. So that's what yours will look like if you do it the same way I did. You can mix colors any way you want though. So let me tell you quickly why this happens. It's a big fancy term called capillary action. You don't really need to remember that word. But what happens is the water molecules are attracted to the paper towel and to each other. So one water molecule gets on the paper towel when you put it in there and the other ones are attracted to that one and they keep, they start getting pulled along too until, they're, until they go all the way up the paper towel and down into the empty cup. Pretty cool. I want you to give it a try at home and see what colors you can make. I want you to have fun. See you soon, bye.